Hi there, I'm Rebecca, co-founder and CEO of Hypernatural. I'm gonna tell you about all the features we just launched to help you make even more amazing videos with full motion characters and dialogue to help you tell your story fast. So let's get started. You probably already know that Hypernatural custom characters, but now in addition to creating custom characters of people, you can also create them using animals, creatures, basically your imagination is the limit. So let's give it a try. It's almost Halloween, so why don't we make a spooky pumpkin head guy? And hit generate. And there's spooky pumpkin head. If you weren't happy with how he came out, you could always go back in, adjust his clothing, adjust his distinguishing characteristics, and regenerate. But that looks pretty good. Now, for the first time, you can also choose your character's voice. And that voice will be used when your character is talking in a video. So you can choose from among our high quality AI voices, but you can also now record and use your own custom voice. So let's see how that works. If you already have an audio file of yourself talking, you can always use that, or you can record your voice right from here. So I'm going to try to sound extra spooky. Hello, I'm recording my voice. I can choose to read this or not. I'm using my best microphone to get the best voice possible. I'm also making lots of different voices, like sounding super silly or really angry. I can just keep talking, saying anything. Just keep going. We only need 20 or 30 seconds. And then we can go ahead and generate him. We'll give you a few samples to hear how it sounds. Hello there, I'm ready for my role. And you can always go and record again, but that sounds pretty good to me, so I'll create his voice. And now Spooky Pumpkinhead has a custom voice that'll get used whenever he shows up in a video. Let's go ahead and create the character. But that's not all that's changed. Let's head over to the editor to see what else is new. So here we are in the video editor, and you might notice that a lot of things have changed. First, we've made it much easier to edit the global settings of the video. So for example, the captions, um, the sizing, the positioning, the style. We've also made it easier to both edit the script. And now you can actually swap out the characters and regenerate the images with a brand new character. So let's say I didn't love this spooky librarian. I could quickly swap her out for this ghost woman. And then if I press regenerate, it will both regenerate the relevant images that feature that character and regenerate the audio to match the new character's voice. So let's go ahead and do that. One thing you'll notice is only regenerating the images that contain that character. So the, there we have our new spooky librarian. But the other images haven't changed. You'll also notice if you play the video that the characters now actually talk with their own voices. Rebecca steps inside. The air feels cold and heavy. She calls out, her voice slightly trembling. Hello? Is anyone there? A rustling sound comes from the shadows. A figure emerges with a glowing pumpkin for a head. Greetings, visitor. Welcome to our humble home. Uh, hello, I'm Rebecca. So you can hear the characters talking with their own voices and emotion, but they're still not animated. One of the big features that we've launched with this release is the ability to actually make your characters talk. So let's go to this scene where I'm talking and animate it with AI. So let's see how it turned out. Hello, is anyone there? So you can see the character is not just moving, they're actually talking with their own voice and interacting with the scene. We've also made it much easier to add motion to your entire story with just one click. And we've actually updated not just the character dialogue, but the entire animation pipeline to make characters interact with their environment more naturally and to make every animation more cinematic. So let's see how it works. And we're back. That whole animation took just about two and a half minutes 
and cost about $5 per minute. So let's see how it turned out. Hello, is anyone there? A rustling sound comes from the shadows. A figure emerges with a glowing pumpkin for a head. Greetings, visitor. Welcome to our humble home. Uh, hello, I'm Rebecca. We've been expecting you. Please come on in. Pumpkinhead leads Rebecca into a library. A translucent librarian floats among the bookshelves. Ah, uh, Rebecca, we're so glad you could make it. So you can see the characters interact with their environment. They speak to each other. They react appropriately to the scenes. And this is what we have been driving toward with this launch. It's making it possible with just one click to get full motion for your entire video and to tell the whole story. One more thing, if you didn't like a particular animation, we've also now added animation directions that you can update in order to get exactly what you're looking for. So if you want the motion to be doing something different, you can always update the instructions and regenerate. So those are the big new updates of Hypernatural. Like, like I said, our goal with this whole set of features is to make it easier and more intuitive to tell your story. So give it a try and let us know what you think.